Pam Greer, Foxy, my life in three acts. Three acts, but there seems to be this continuum, this thread that really says you've been a survivor from the very beginning. Is that what your hope was by writing this memoir that people would see that part of you? They will see that. They will see my lifelines from you, from my family, from everyone that I've worked with and people that I've just meet on the street because I'm very open. I like being accessible. And being a cancer survivor, I've been in remission for 22 years. Tomorrow's not a given. I'm a gift that I'm here. And you'll read about intense pain and struggle and abandonment. People look at Pam Greer, they think of Foxy Brown, they think of coffee, and they think they know Pam Greer. But little do people know until they read this memoir that the pain that you experienced, but somehow something within you, you kind of pull yourself up. There was the first uh, event, the molestation, rape, and then the second, the third one was the one where I fought. I had an instinct for survival. And th throughout these instances, the third time changed me into this, I'm going to risk my life to save my life. But you still found a way to, to bring that experience to your characters. And you even channeled your mom. Mom, mom was, was coffee. coffee. Leave him alone! <laughs> My mom was the neighborhood nurse, and so I brought that, the culture, the metaphors, everything we want to put in these films that make it rich. I want justice for all of them. And I want justice for all the other people. The black exploitation, there were a lot of different connotations. Were you ever conflicted that, uh, you know, <laughs> there were mixed messages that came with that, because the women, such as yourself and others, were, were scantily clad and, and were violent, uh, but at the same time, very powerful. How do we get the people into the seats to see these messages? Well, the movement was mini skirts and burning of bras and Woodstock and nudity. Then we had the Black Panther message, which was very empowering to learn how to fish for yourself. A lot of the films that I used to see from other cultures were very violent. All those martial arts were very violent, but they weren't called Asian exploitation. They were just action films. And one man at AIP said, we'll just call him black exploitation, thinking he was cool. Your three acts that you uh, delve into in this book, the early years, the frozen, the freaks, as well as the finding the balance, you are just as open about the men in your life. Yes. 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 From Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. Yes. It's interesting because the relationship of being a couple ended when he didn't give me enough time to embrace Islam. He had had several years. And my heart was breaking because I really loved this man. And then I know you're going to ask about the others. Freddie oh. Prince. Oh. I mean, that was the love of your he life, you said. But at the time when I met him, he uh, was becoming more and more successful. And I could see his change. And um, three days before he passed away, uh, he had called me. And um, he was in crisis, emotional crises, and I didn't know how to help him. Did you think he was going to kill himself, though? No, not at all. And he loved Richard, loved Richard. So Freddie would... introduced you to Richard Breyer. Yes. Richard felt he could trust me, that I was one of those people I could be in his circle, because he was guarded. You were a good influence on him. For a minute, for a minute. But he was awfully honest with you that he was afraid if he didn't do drugs, that he wouldn't be funny. That was his deepest fear, that if he was sober, he wouldn't be talented, he wouldn't be funny. And I said, well, you, you won't know unless you try. And he said, I can do it, I can do it. I could see it was very fragile, it's not gonna happen. Is it safe to say the next chapter, you know, you're, you're living this simple life, but still with a whole lot of foxy in it? I get it from you. I don't think so. Yes, oh, <laughs> oh yes. Oh, no. Oh, yes.